Hi everyone, this video is about prayer of the Filipino. Um, this message is only for Filipinos and people living in the Philippines. Okay, uh, But before we start off, uh, let us pray first. Heavenly Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your message. I pray that all the viewers view viewing this uh, message of yours, they will understand the truth and obey it. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. All right, so uh, again, this message is only for Filipinos and people living in the Philippines. Okay? So this is what Holy Spirit says. Ever since the COVID-19 epidemic started, TV, radio, stations, and multimedias are doing a prayer to God to have mercy on the Philippines and to stop the coronavirus. They say many prayers, even to different saints and Marys, but all their prayers will not make God stop the COVID-19, for He requires all to repent of their sins. To each and every Filipino, repent of all your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And God will be merciful to you and heal your country. Repentance is the only way for your country to survive this epidemic. The more people refuse to repent, the longer they will experience the coronavirus and many more will die. So that is the end of the message of Holy Spirit. I hope that this message makes uh, everyone uh, be seriously uh, learn to repent of their sins. And, it, and that God is serious about this. He's not joking around or playing games with us. He's serious. And if you don't uh, believe it, open your eyes to seeing around the world people dying of this uh, COVID-19. And even doctors are dying. And it's real. And the only way that people will uh, be saved, their souls will be saved from hell, and that this coronavirus will stop, is that people will start repenting of their sins. And that will stop the devil from tormenting people and countries and the world. It is repentance that will make devils flee. It's not only prayer that uh, you call on people, on your, on gods and the saints. That that's that's idolatry, you know, and it's a sin. And God said, "Repent, and then I will heal your land." It's so simple. But it's sad, is because. People don't want to repent because of their pride. And the only way you're going to be able to repent is you humble yourself. Admit your sins to Jesus Christ. And make a promise that you won't do the same sin again. That you develop a relationship with Him and you ask Him, Lord, how can I overcome this sin that I'm dealing with? Please help me. Teach me. That is how Jesus Christ taught us to humble ourselves like a little child. But many people, they, they're so prideful. And that's why many people are dying, getting sick. And God doesn't want this. He doesn't like to see this happen. But people don't want to repent. And how can he help people if they don't want to humble themselves? 
and repent of their sin. It's the only way. There's no other way. There is no other cure for this. Even medicine cannot cure this. So I, I hope that you understand this message. I hope you take it seriously and you share it to everyone that the only way, not only this coronavirus, but all other plagues that will come and all other problems that will come in the future, it is only through repentance of sins that will save each and every person. Have mercy on yourself. So, if you guys have any questions, please just pray directly to Jesus Christ. Develop that relationship with Him. And ask Him all your questions. Listen to Him and obey Him. So this is the end of the message. May Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, give you the love, peace, wisdom and understanding of Jesus Christ in your mind and heart every day of your life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.